Hey everybody, this is total body workout number two. So I have arranged this workout to be about 20 minutes long after the warm up before the cool down and stretch. So the way it's arranged is I have 20 different exercises. So we're not going to repeat anything in this workout. We'll do each exercise for 45 seconds followed by a 15 second transition time where I'll introduce the next exercise to you. Now, the great thing about this format is you could cut it down and do 30 second intervals followed by a uh, 15 second break in between and go through twice. Some of the exercises you'll see we'll do like on one side. So halfway through that 45 second block, I'll be switching. But if you do this on your own another time and cut those intervals down to 30 seconds, you could do all one side the first time through and then hit that second side the second time through. A lot of the exercises in this workout do not need any weights. I do have a couple where I'm going to use some free weights. But again, if you don't have them, you can still get a lot out of this workout without any added weight. So if you want music, pause the video now and go set up your playlist, and um, we'll get started. Alrighty, so I'm gonna have you guys march it out, and we're gonna take about a two minute warm up here. Standing nice and tall, let's take some deep breaths in. Big inhale, and exhale, again. Two more. You definitely need to put some music on so you don't hear my feet slamming down on this wood floor the whole time. <laughs> Roll your shoulders up and back. And then start to march your feet wide. Keep pumping those arms. So I'm going to use my abs right here to try to make my feet a little quieter. And it's also a good way to just get in tune with your core. We're going to be using it. The whole class. All right, keep picking up those feet in this glamorous move we're doing right here. And then when you're ready, we're going to go to a step and tap. And let's just swing those arms. Keep the neck and shoulders relaxed. Taking in more deep breaths here as we prepare for the work ahead. Keep bending and pushing through those legs. All right, from here, we're going to add some arms, get those shoulders warmed up. So when you're ready, reach it up. Let's do eight more. And then we're going to circle our arms. So it's going to look like this, circle around. And you can make it smaller if that feels better to your shoulders. How about hmm, four more? And then we'll press both arms to the front. Here we go. Press front. And when you pull those elbows back, really try to open up your chest. Let's do four more, then plant our feet. All right. So feet nice and flat, hands to your thighs, and start some lunges side to side. So we're doing a dynamic stretch right here for those inner thighs. We're keeping it moving because we want to warm up the muscles, but we still want to lengthen those muscles too. Keeping those feet nice and flat. You can even bring your shoulder toward your opposite knee as long as twisting is an okay motion for you. And then you can come up tall and roll your shoulder up and back. A couple more. All right, from here, walk your feet in just a little bit, and we're going to go right into some hamstring curls, opening up the hips, opening up the chest, pulling the heel up toward your glute. All right, how many more? How about eight? Four more. Then march your feet. Here we go. Almost done with our warm up. I just want to finish with some knee lifts to get us more in tune with our abs. So when you're ready, reach 
One knee up and your opposite arm comes up, reaching those fingertips toward the ceiling, thinking about using your abs. Let's do eight more. Go at your own pace. Four more. And then make sure you have dumbbells close by if you're gonna wanna use those, shake out those legs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get our timer on. And our first move is gonna be a wide plie squat. You have two options for arms. So you can keep them nice and straight, just go up and down. Or if you wanna make it more graceful, you're here. Three, two, one, let's go. So we have 45 seconds here. Deep breaths. Keep those heels pressed down to the floor the whole time. And as you come up, press them down even harder and really squeeze those inner thighs. Woo! We're about halfway there. Make this movement as big as you can. Going down as far as your knees and hips will let you. We have about 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Now on this next one, you might want some dumbbells. This is the move. We're gonna squat. Lift a knee, extend, up, and come down. And then hit that other side. Whoa, and it is a balance challenge. All right, three, two, one. So we squat, opposite arm and knee come up, just like in the warm up. Then extend, reach it up, come down and switch sides. So we're not gonna get through a lot of repetitions here. This one is all about being slow and controlled. I'm gonna show you from the side because when you extend that leg, make sure you don't dump the chest back. You wanna stay nice and tall. Think about pushing up out of your supporting hip. We have about 10 more seconds to go. Use those abs as you add that leg extension. We are so close. Three, two, one. All right, put those weights aside. And next move is a little bit of cardio. It's gonna be a chasse down to a side lunge. So, you can keep your chest up here if that feels better to you. Let's go. Chasse side lunge. Listen to those knees and hips. Now I just noticed my dumbbells are pretty close to my feet over on this side. So be careful where you put those. Be aware of where they are. Don't want to trip over anything. Head always stays above the heart, even if you're reaching all the way down to the floor. Ooh, this is a good one. We're almost there, hang on to it. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, march it out. Next move. We have a single lunge back to a hammer curl and knee lift. Weights again. Three, two, one. Lunge back, lift your knee. Now notice this is all on one side. So in about 22 seconds, I'm going to say switch and you'll step back with that other leg. Stand up nice and tall here and switch. So let's hit that other side. So this is where. It's one of those moves where if you cut your intervals down to 30 seconds, you could just stay on that side the whole time, the first time through, and then hit the other side the second time through. Oh my goodness. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, shake it out. Straight arm tricep is next. So I'm going to a crescent lunge. Nice flat body from the back of my head down to my back heel. And I'm going to lift and lower. Here we go. Lift and lower. Keep those arms straight. We will switch legs halfway through. Notice how I'm not swinging my arms forward at all. I'm directing the motion 
up and behind me. Using my abs. All right, switch legs and keep going. Up and down. If this bothers you back at all, you could do it one arm at a time and place your other hand on your thigh. Keep going. I'm going to face you guys. You want to be looking down in front of your front foot a few feet away. Three, two, one. Woo! All right, time for more cardio. So we are going to do heel click jacks. This is low. Squeeze your inner thighs. Ready? Let's go. Whew. All right, I hope you guys have some music on because I really wish that I did. It's hard to get motivated without it. Whew. Keep going. Remember low impact. Squeezing those inner thighs together. So touching those heels will help you get that inner thigh movement. Hang in there. We're almost there. Woo! Ha! Ten more seconds. Come on. You got it. Three, two, one. Shake out those legs. Okay. Next move. Dancing crab. This is standing. I'm going to do it from the floor, from my crab position. You choose. Ready? Lift up those hips. Three, two, one. Let's go. So you don't have to necessarily touch the leg with your hand. You can. But just try to, if you're down in this crab position, try to keep those hips up. If it starts to bother those shoulders too much, do it from a stand instead. So we want to challenge our muscles, but not at the expense of our joints. We're so close. Come on. You got it. Woo! Three, two, one. I'm going to flip around, but if you're standing, next one is push-ups. So you can do your push-ups standing at the wall or come down to the floor. I'm going to do a spidey push-up. Three, two, one. You're thinking, what is a spidey push-up? But maybe you know. Bring one foot up, back, and then push up, and then switch. If you're standing at the wall, you're doing that basic push-up. Woo! So make sure you're keeping your belly tight, right? You're not dropping your hips. You're not arching your back. Almost there. Come on. Ten seconds. You got it. Three, two, one. All right. Shake it out. Next one. Our upper body gets a little break on this one. It's chair pose side tap. So we're going to sit down, sit back into our heels and just tap those toes ever so lightly. Here we go. So you choose how far you squat down, but make sure you're sitting those hips back, right? You don't want to be pushing your weight forward into your knee joints. Neck and shoulders are relaxed. You can even shake it out a little bit here. And let's try to so, so lightly tap those toes. So our abs are taking a lot of the weight here. Steady breathing. Ooh, I really needed to catch my breath, so I'm glad we're doing this one. Woo! Almost there, everybody. We have some rows next. Three, two, one. Okay, so either standing row, and I'll give you a halfway cue, or plank row. So you're alternating sides. You can do this from your knees or from your feet. Ready? Let's go. Lift and lower. So again, if you feel those hips dropping, please go to your knees so that you can keep that belly tight, all right? 
or you're doing it one arm at a time. And if so, do one more breath and then switch sides. So if you're standing doing one arm, you should be heading on to that other side now. Woo! Keep breathing. Almost there, you guys. Hang on to it. Three, two, one. All right. Runner's lunge is next. So you might hold on to those weights. I'm going to put mine down for this. And it looks like this. Ready? Set. Go. So our elbows are bent. You might be holding some dumbbells here. And you are pushing that heel up and behind you. If that is making you really wobbly, tap the toe down. We are going to be switching sides soon, so hang on. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Keep going. Steady breathing. Drive that knee up in front. And then press that. Feel it in that glute. So close. Come on. Standing leg is bent. Three, two, one. All right, shake it out. Skaters or ski jumps are next. So a little more cardio. You choose. I'm going to stick with those skaters. That's our low impact version. Nice big step side to side. In three, two, one. Here we go. So side to side. Get as much distance as you can. Right, so we don't do a lot of this lateral movement in our everyday lives. So this is a good one to include in your workouts or any kind of, you know, side to side movement. You can make it a step touch. Maybe you're doing those side to side ski jumps, getting ready for next season. Never too early to start preparing. Woo! Keep going. Almost there. Hang on to it. Three, two, one. All right, march it out. Oh, we're we're uh, chipping away at this single leg deadlift with a fly. This is what it's going to look like. It's a big balance challenge. Keep that standing leg slightly bent. Here we go. So you could hold dumbbells if you want to. If it feels like too much to add that fly, just focus on that single leg lift. I'm a little too close to my wall here. Looking down at the floor, I know I'm looking over at you a lot, um, but notice how that makes you wobbly. So look down at the floor, keep that standing leg slightly bent. Three, two, one. All right, shake it out. What's next? Oh, we get to go down to the floor for some chest flies. So grab your weights if you want to. We are gonna start with our feet up. And as we bring the arms out, we bring one leg down. Here we go. Make sure you're maintaining a neutral spine. So you've got just a little gap between your low back and your mat. If it's anything more than just a little, try bending your knees. That will help you to maintain that neutral spine. You might be holding dumbbells. Inhale, exhale. Keep going. This is actually kind of relaxing right now, isn't it? All right, enjoy your rest. It's almost over. We have about five seconds left. Keep going. Three, two, one. Take your time getting up. Oh, we've got a good old fashioned football run coming up for cardio. If you're gonna keep it low impact, it's a wide march really picking up those feet. In three, two, one, let's go. So, it's easy to get lazy on this football run because a lot of us know it. We do it all the time. 
So don't get lazy. I want you to think about pushing off that floor here. Hang on to this now. Make sure you're moving your arms in some way. You could do a speed bag, whatever works for you. But to get the most out of it, move those arms and the legs. We're almost there, 10 more seconds, come on. Push, push, keep going. Three, two, one, walk it out. All right, next we're gonna do a reverse lunge. You can hold one dumbbell or any kind of object any kind of weighted object for this. So, elbows are bent the whole time, chest is lifted. Here we go. So bring your hands, your imaginary object or your real object across the front and then to the side of that front leg. Keep going, keep lunging if you want to, but just know you could also do this one with your feet planted and knees bent. Woo, I feel it in my abs. So pretend you are in a pool of molasses. It's really thick and it's really hard to pull your object through. Almost there. Three, two, one. Okay, you can ditch your weights. Take your feet wide. We're gonna work those obliques a little bit next with some alternating side bends. So you choose how low you go here. You could be in a full on squat if you want to. Go ahead and get started. We're, we are reaching from side to side. I'm gonna try getting a little lower. Oh boy. All right, we've got this. Belly tight. Keep that neck relaxed. So you resist and then you squeeze to come, up, to come up. Resist, squeeze. So it's in that opposite side, that squeezing. 10 more seconds, come on. Then we have just three more exercises. Three, two, one. Okay, so this is our last cardio block. We're gonna do four high knees and four glute kicks. And just keep alternating. You can jump or keep it low impact. It's up to you. Three, two, one. Up, 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 hit, 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 hit. What are we hitting? We're hitting our glutes with our heels. I really don't know what to do with my arms. I guess this is okay. Keep going. Maybe you've got something better. You can email me if you do. <laughs> Keep going. <clears throat> you might have to send me a video though. Almost there. Three, two, one. Okay. Woo! Shake it out. Um, Either down on your back for a pelvic lift, or if you have a chair or a countertop close by, this is your move. Standing leg is bent. You're going to lift, take your leg out to the side, lift and come back. I will tell you when to switch. Steady breathing. Try not to lean too hard into that chair or countertop or table. All right, let's switch legs now. Up and over. Make sure you're keeping that standing leg slightly bent. So getting some nice rotation happening at that hip. Almost there, five seconds. Three, Two, one. All right, our last move. You could sit down for this or come sit on the floor. It's a seated twist. Grab one dumbbell if you want some added weight. I should have brought my mat over, but that's okay. All right, sit up tall. Your back is flat. You're leaning back slightly, and you're going to take 
your real object or your imaginary object side to side. So you're not rounding your shoulders forward. You're not arching your back. All right, if this starts to bother your low back, come up taller or sit down in a chair and try this. If twisting is not a good motion for you, don't do it. Maybe you could do this instead. Roll up, roll down. Listen to your body. We're almost there, everybody. Keep breathing. Three, two, and one. All righty. So take your time coming back up to a stand. And you want, might want to stop this video now, go all the way back to the beginning, and do it again for another 20 minutes. I am going to lead you through a stretch at this point. So take your feet nice and wide, and let's just take three deep breaths here. So big inhale, and exhale. Again. And exhale. One more. Okay, from here, bring one arm over to your side. So stretching those muscles we worked in our side bends, reaching through those fingertips. And then come on over to the other side. Think about lifting up and then reaching over. Okay, bring the arm back and then just roll those shoulders up and back four times. Breathing as you go. Woo. Okay, from here, let's do a little quad stretch. So hold on to a wall or a chair if you want to. Grab that foot behind you. If you're not able to grab the foot, you could do this quad stretch like so. Do pull your belly button in toward your spine here. And whenever you're ready, switch sides. Okay, then from here, let's get a hamstring stretch in. So heel down, hinging from the hips, back flat. You point and flex that foot. And then from here, we'll go into a figure four. Now this could be done seated or from your back. You cross your ankle over your knee and then sit those hips back like so. If that feels like too much for your hip or your knee, you could also get a little stretch in like that. Um, but I would try it seated before, before going to that one. You might be able to do it if you're sitting down. Okay, so let's switch sides, get that hamstring stretch on the other side, supporting your back in some way here. Point and flex. And then when you're ready, however you want to do that figure four stretch. Some of you yogis might want to have your hands up here. That's a good balance challenge. And then come on up and let's bring the feet apart again. Clasp your hands behind your back. Press the shoulders down and back. Open up your chest here. <sighs> One more time. Bring your arms down by your sides and just do a few head tilts. It's so easy to start holding tension up here when we're working really hard. So let's just make sure we leave this workout today feeling a little more relaxed than we did when we came into it. Let's look side to side, keeping those knees soft. Okay, just a couple more things. Let's bend our knees a little more, hands to the thighs and hinge forward. And then if twisting is an okay motion for you, just gently bring your shoulder toward your opposite knee. Come to the center, switch sides. 
Come back to the center, drop your head down with a flat back, and then slowly round it up. Roll those shoulders up and back. One more deep breath, big inhale. Exhale. And we are all done, maybe. Or maybe you're gonna restart this video and go through one more time. But whatever the case, nice to be with you today. Enjoy your day, and thanks for joining me. Take care, everybody.